This one's strong. Get ready for anything. Ready for anything. Wasn't too bad. <sighs> Finally, halfway up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. Guess she's awake. Oh. So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No, I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well, how about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well, that shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph. Would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans, and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Autophagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry, I have calmed the winds. I believe Baul can reach you now. 
Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. We managed to get the four elemental spirits! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Autophagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know! Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumarais. Even if it is to save the world, we've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmede Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. <laughs> Are you angry, Yuri? Yeah, a little. Is it about the events of Duke's past that Sylph shared with us? So basically, Duke's doing what he's doing to clean up the mess made by an idiot. The whole thing is just so stupid. Even though Duke and Elucifer were both fighting for humanity's sake, it's so sad. Like the hero who shines so bright that people couldn't look at him and got scared. The overwhelming power caused people to fear him. It's all so stupid. Is Byle doing all right? You sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine. But he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. But he knows that someday, he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it, though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. The other in Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own, though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelakea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me. 
and I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Enthelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. And we're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Baul. He wants you to know you can count on him. Efreet, Gnome, Sylph! The spirits of the four great elements have been born! The Entelikea were thinking of the planet after all. I was worried there for a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. You call surviving by the skin of our teeth not too bad? Ha! Ow! A anyway, we can defeat the Autobagos for sure now, right? Not yet. There's still too many unknown variables. Hypothesize, test, evaluate, then prove. We have to follow the proper steps to ensure success. I'm not even sure how effective the four elements will be in converting air to mana yet. Wait, could the mana from the loss and materialized air created by the spirits be maintaining the balance? If so, then I shouldn't be measuring the actual value, but... No, that's not right. I mean... Okay, she's gone. Yep, I'd say there's nothing to worry about. All that's left is figuring out how to use this thing to put an end to the disaster. The spirits didn't figure into my calculations, but their effects should be quite potent. Just leave it to me. Then we've completed one of the goals of our voyage. Right, but the biggest one is still in front of us, though. Still, the situation shouldn't turn against us, I think. Uh... What is it, Patty? Uh, I'm famished. I can't fight in this condition. Why don't you have a skewer like you always do? Now 
there's a fine idea. I think I'll do just that. I have to draw a line at some point. This has become quite a place, hasn't it? Has everyone evacuated crossing the Blade Drifts? I think they escaped to Tolbekia, around Torum. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. Traveling under a sky like this? Looks like the Teagles got away too. Even with the road through Emmet Hill open, I'm still worried. I love port towns. They always have stuff. Even in times like this, looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos? I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know, but he seems totally obsessed. <sighs> Patty, what is it? Huh? I'm famished. Want me to make you something? I do appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I'd blow up like a pufferfish if I ate now. Sleeping is the best way to distract oneself from an empty tummy, so good night. They say kids need sleep to grow up, but I doubt Patty's growing up anytime soon. Rita's gonna need a bit more time, too. We should catch some shut eye while we can. Yes, good idea. Please wake up. I'm up, I'm up. Was that Patty just now? I'm worried about her, running off by herself in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it kind of seemed like there was something weighing on her. Maybe she was thinking about Eifried. Judith! I didn't realize you were awake. Now that you bring it up, she hasn't said a peep about Eifried lately. Rita, you're up too? And so is this old man. I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. It's too dangerous to go wandering around alone. It's still pretty risky, just the two of you, Judith, darling. Allow me. I'll escort you. I'm going too. Well, I guess if everyone's going... What's the matter? Hey, sleepyhead, we're going out for a bit. You sit tight and hold the fort. Huh? Where are you going? Don't just leave me here! 
I guess even the twerp wants to tag along. All right, then we'll all go and take a quick peek. Please wait. What are you all doing here? We could ask you the same question. Why the solo trip out here, hmm? We've gathered the spirits and are about to embark on a life or death mission. I just wanted to settle my own affairs before that. Are you talking about Eifried? This is my problem and mine alone. No one else should have to bear the burden. You say that, but there's really no reason you should go alone. <sighs> Hey, that's the Atherum. What is it doing here? Did you call it here, Patty? I thought I saw you holding up the Maristella. So the Maristella is a device that summons that ship. It's reaching out for its other half. Meaning its other half is on that ship? But the Maristella is... Huh? Does this have anything to do with that problem you mentioned? I... And let's go. Huh? What are you waiting for? You're going to come with me? You know there's no way we'd let you go by yourself. My thanks. But I will be the one to settle what needs settling. You got it. The boat's over there. Time to embark. Hey, does that mean that Eifried is on that ship? Who knows? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it! I have an idea! Blast arm! Alright, who's next? You picked the wrong people to f I'm not used to this team! You picked the wrong people to fight. So you were looking for that treasure that I freed had hidden, right, Patty? So you could meet him and get your memories back. I... And then you ended up finding the Maristella, right? Well, yes and no. The treasure I freed was searching for was the Maristella. What? So you were both after the exact same thing? Then will you be able to find him now? If I use the Maristella... I'll find him without a doubt. Then that means Eifried must be on this ship. Well, you see... What the heck? 
Up there! We've defeated that monster here before, haven't we? Patty! Is that Ifrid? That? It can't be, but... Whoever it is, we gotta go. Yes. I believe there was a ladder in the captain's quarters. like an easy win. Don't get careless. That was so... Like an easy win. Don't get careless. You picked the wrong. Let's eliminate them. That was so... Keep your eyes on my sword. This looks like fun! You picked the wrong... I don't care what rock you crawled out from, bring it! They got us from behind. This is awesome. No All right, who's that was so from behind? 
Oh man, I'm not used to this team. You picked the. It's me! Do you recognize me? Who's Cypher? I thought that was Eifried! I'm pretty sure Cypher was one of Eifried's officers. Patty! Looks like we don't have time to chit-chat. Cypher, we're settling this here and now! I can do even better than this! I'm even stricter than- It's still alive! Cypher, I'm sorry I made you wait for so long. I lost my memories, and it took me a while, but I finally made it back. I knew it. She's regained her memories. I freed... <gasps> That's... I freed it is you. Been a while. Why is he calling her I freed? Wait a second. I freed is... me. W what are you talking about? Cypher, you recognize me? Yes. But you must leave this place before I lose myself and turn on you once more. I will not! I came here to release you from that monstrous form and from the Black Hope's fate. That day, I turned my hand against many. 
committed a great sin. Is he talking about the Black Hope Massacre? They would have only suffered more if you hadn't. Like the way you're suffering now. That accident turned them all into monsters, and you saved them! And yet the one who killed them lives freely in this form. You saved me. You let me escape. This time, it's my turn to save you, Cypher. I freed. You'd release me from this agony. You've done so much for me, protecting those scallywags in Siren's Harbor. And you've always supported me. But, and now, it ends. Patty. Cypher, you're the only one I... I am sorry to make you suffer so, Eifried. I'm far from the only one who suffered. You've been through so much worse, Cypher. You're my friend, so I'll shoulder your pain too. And to free you from your misery, I will kill you. Those people, they are the ones helping you through this. Good. Even without your memories, you are not alone. You are not in pain. That was all I was worried about. You've made some wonderful friends, Eifried. Here, take this. The Maris Gemma. Now I can die in peace. Go on. Do it. Bye-bye. Cypher. It's okay to cry if you want to cry, you know. No matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. That's my motto. Patty, I won't cry. Shedding tears is no way to pay my respects to the dear friends I've lost. I am Eifried, boss of Siren's Fang. So I... I will not cry. I will never cry. I don't want to cry! Morning, little Miss Crybaby. So, feeling any better after that nice long cry? Uh, I'm perfectly fine. Good. So, now what are you planning on doing? Yeah, now that you got your memories back and you saw what you wanted to see. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm sticking with you guys. Are you sure that's what you want? I. It's not like I'd just abandon you to fight the Autofagos without me. Besides, I've come this far. I want to see it through till the very end. Well, we're glad to have you, Patty. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Um, there's a lot that I've been wanting to ask, but don't know how. Well, I know we're all dying of curiosity, but you tell us when you're ready. I, I'll tell you everything when the time is right. But... What?! Judy, what happened? Wait, that's where Ospio is. What's going on?
What happened to Ospio? What the hell is that thing? It looks like... a mountain? Lay that, a building. Tarkaron. Huh? The spirits are telling me that's the Tower of Tarkaron. Duke, it's gotta be him. He's going to try to use that against the Autophagos. Please, let me through! You, with the long black hair! Do you have a moment? What do you want? Some people with the Knights wanted me to tell them if I saw someone with your appearance. They said they wanted to talk to you about Flynn, the new Commandant of the Imperial Knights. What? I believe you are the right person. Yeah. Hey, was it a girl with kinda cat-looking eyes and a kid with a head like an apple? Huh? Oh, yes, I suppose so. <sighs> so can I wait at the inn? Yes, that's fine. I'll call them. Thank <laughs> you.